We already had a simple studio before Corona to train our dealers and internal employees and in webinars for different product groups and topics. Due to Corona, the need and the scope increased extremely quickly. Since we have different brands in the company like Panasonic, Lumix and Technics, therefore we needed the most flexible solution possible with regards to branding and wide range of opportunities. With employees, dealers, but also end consumers, we have different target groups. Therefore, we wanted to produce a wide range of different formats. In addition to pure product or feature videos, we already produced expert discussions and conducted trainings. The studio should be ready as quickly as possible and should offer a high flexibility. And of course, being future-proof. That's why we wanted to use the best products in the market, means Panasonic products, in our studio. From the concrete idea in December 2020 to the visit at KST, budget release, up to the construction of the studio in March 2021, it was very fast. And at the end of August, we already successfully implemented the first major project. And our team can actually run the system on an already surprisingly high level. So one person is in charge of software control, one for the audio control, one for the image control, and the last for camera control and the presettings of the camera. We use three 4K PTZ cameras, which allow us different angles of view. In the control room, we have a Panasonic AWRP150 with the Comfort System PTZ4 for the camera control, which is very intuitive to use. The Panasonic AV UHS500 is used at the image mixer. This gives us extreme flexibility and allows us to use many image sources for our production. As control monitors, we use Panasonic OLED and in the studio Panasonic LCDs. We use the zero density control software together with vMix to create our virtual reality. PTZ camera is the entry level for cameras in a virtual studio. The, the main benefit is that they are remote controllable and that they deliver the needed tracking data, which we desperately need for VR. PTZ cameras can do pan, tilt and zoom. So basically that's what the name is for. This is why we looked for a way to enhance that, to give the PTZ cameras additional access of mobility. We started here with the integration of our vertical move system. The manual version is already implemented here from the beginning. At the moment, we are in the phase to upgrade this a little bit, so we are discussing the details to realize a robotic version of it. And the automated workflow is, by the way, one of the important things we have in such kind of studios. So as more you can automate, as easier it is to have an impressive result with a small crew. Here on the Panasonic Studio side, we have our first implementation of our new product on new software development CamBot PTZ, which is the entry-level version of our CamBot PTZ software, which we usually use for automation and robotic camera control. This version here is made especially for the PTZ workflow and enhances the PTZs with a whole position database workflow. So you're able to create um, and store your positions in a database with tags, with uh, sorting algorithms and so on. For example, if you have a finished show which is completely programmed, but suddenly you get a new moderator which is a bit higher or a bit smaller, then the system can automatically adjust that. And of course, the software also steers the vertical move system for the PTZ cameras. That gives the operator a very high grade of automation, so he doesn't have to really care about the cameras anymore. He can prepare everything in advance and then more or less automatically fire the show without having to adjust positions in the live workflow. If we look at what we produced one year ago and what we now deliver in terms of quality, there's no comparison. We have installed a perfect solution for our predefined requirements and this within an absolute reasonable budget.